Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here in the Hope series in Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we finally got around to breeding a titanosaur that we went ahead and made this gigantic beast of a creature. And unfortunately, we discovered a few things about the titanosaurs. The first being that they really don't get much per stat for their health or melee so you know baseline like because i think i put what i guess we can actually see i put yeah 62 points into this one's melee and it barely went up at all i think with the big slam we were doing at base 16,000, and i think that's like without imprint and after all of those levels and after imprint we're doing i think 20,000 with the big slam so not much of a damage increase and to top it all off we also found out that we can't take the titanosaurus into the boss fights as tragic as that is i really wanted to make a super mutated titanosaur to just solo all of the bosses especially the one that we eventually make our base on i think that would have been so funny but alas it is not the case but uh yeah peeps speaking of titanosaur breeding we have this one right here this is the perfect male i thought this female was the perfect female but unfortunately you could see it's only it only hatches a level 512 this one is a 515 so this one actually has all of the perfect stats which means we can't even begin mutation breeding yet because you're not even an adult and we don't even have a female version of the perfect statted baby so yeah titanosaur mutations that's that's gonna be a process and uh, one that hopefully today's efforts will go to improve because yes today's video is not going to be titanosaur mutations i'm sure most of you were expecting it to be but today's video is going to be getting the s plus mutator here let's go let's go check out what it does in our engrams list and here we go unleashes the full power of element to alter dinos in powerful ways so yeah the mutator can do a whole heck of a lot of stuff and unfortunately we can't make it <laughs> we we have not gotten the prerequisite engram to craft this which is actually the cloning chamber which obviously can't unlock that either and that's an issue peeps because the mutator has a thing called a mutation well i mean obviously a mutation pulse but a growth pulse is what i really want it for and that rapidly accelerates how quickly babies grow and for obvious reasons that is going to be extremely useful because every step of the titanosaur breeding process is horrifically long okay well i mean this is a bad example the recovery is less than one minute but the the time it takes them to mate takes forever the recovery time takes forever the egg incubation time takes forever and then of course what takes the longest is the titanosaur growing up so if we could speed up that process that'll help a whole heck of a lot and yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today now unfortunately it's not going to be easy, peeps, because the S plus mutator slash cloning chamber is locked behind one, the alpha dragon, which is one of Ark's hardest fights two, the alpha manticore, which is one of Ark's slightly easier fights. Maybe uh, I don't know. The only time I've done alpha manticore was with an army of lightning wyverns, and that kind of trivialized that fight. We obviously don't have wyverns uh, through my own choices in this series, and I think also alpha rockwell drops them, which um probably not going to be doing alpha rock well in this episode but yeah so i'm thinking i might knock out two birds with one stone here peeps today and do both alpha dragon and alpha manticore because my goal is to do all of the bosses anyway we technically only need to do one to get the cloning chamber but if i do all of them then that means that's one less boss i have to do in a future video and of course by all of them i of course mean the dragon and the manticore because i'm not doing all of the bosses today we just simply don't have time for that and i don't even know if i have the army composition for that because we have a bunch of gigas right peeps we have frieza we have tanzanite and all the other good gigas but i'm really worried about how they'll fare against these bosses now these guys are extremely highly mutated right they're beasts each one of them but the dragon does damage over time and the manticore just does solid damage itself and we don't have ascendant saddles heck we don't even have journeyman saddles we all we literally are stuck with the base primitive giga saddles so i am pretty worried here peeps that are, are if we take in only gigas they'll get wiped but they do a lot of damage so maybe 
taking only gigas will wipe the boss faster than the boss can wipe the army right i don't know so i think we're gonna we're gonna try that oh my gosh look at all the cryopodic creatures here but yeah so what we're gonna try peeps is i'm gonna bring in all of the gigas but i will be riding on new waddle and we're gonna be going to act as support in this fight because chances are one of these gigas is going to get rage and in a group of i think it's three or more that enables friendly fire to you and i i don't i i honestly don't know if it enables friendly fire between the gigas i don't think it does but just in case i don't want to be riding a giga because obviously if i die in the boss fights uh, that's uh you know that's a pretty solid gg we lose so i want to go ahead ride on new waddle so one we could use our courage war spams and two if the gigas come after me new waddle is leagues faster than any of these gigas so we'll be able to easily outrun any of the threats that are posed to us by our own creatures all right but uh yeah so what should we do first giga or not giga dragon or manticore i'm thinking manticore first or should we just get the hardest one out of the way first the dragon or maybe maybe the manticore will be a shocking surprise and actually be the hardest one i remember last time we did manticore we lost nawaddle version number one because it actually got knocked out so we have to be a, like pretty careful in this fight peeps so i guess since i'm already here we'll do the manticore i do think the gigas will be able to shred the manticore it's just a matter of Will the Manticore cooperate and actually land? And, and and if it does, great. If not, then we're gonna have some problems. But ooh, I thought the Smurlatops was gonna be aggressive towards me for a second. But yeah, the the death worms that it'll summon are basically fodder. The rock golems will get torn up by all of the gigas. We won't have to really worry about that. And, uh, and interestingly enough, this is both dragon and manticore, so this is all we need. And um, uh, I think, yeah, I don't even think I can do Alpha Dragon right now because I don't think I have the Tuso Tentacles and Basilo Blubber. So I guess, I guess we're gonna start with the Manticore. We need Fire, Lightning, and Poison Talents. I think we probably already have all of those. So I'm gonna go ahead, start throwing out all the Gigas, and I'll see you peeps once we are ready to start this fight. Alrighty, peeps. I I mean, I guess we're ready to go. I am tempted to bring more indoms, but I'm worried that the gigas will just kill the indoms, right? I'm not. I, I, I should probably just do more testing with. Oh! Huh? What? What happened? I saw like a lava golem for like an eighth of a second. What? What? D did one of the. Swall bosses spawn here and just instantly get demolished. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I, I don't know, peeps. That was that was pretty bizarre. But anyway, so yeah, I, I guess let's let's not dilly dally. I should have done more testing, but we're gonna go in and assume that everything is fine and that we can do this. I'm bringing a lot of shotgun ammo, bringing a lot of uh, metal arrows for the compound bow. Got all of our teams. Everyone is inside of the circle. Yep. All right, this is, this is, it's gonna go, peeps, I guess. So I have, ah, I should have brought more med brews is what I definitely should have brought. I don't know, peeps, this, this could be terrible. I have the, I have giga backup eggs. So if all the gigas die, it's not that big of a deal, but hopefully they won't. But here we go, here we go into the boss fight. Oh, hi, Manticore. Aren't you supposed to spawn up there? <laughs> what is happening? Where is, uh, there we go. All right, um, are you just chilling? Oh, nope, he's active. All right, everyone, kill, K kill, yes. Okay, let's, uh, I guess, let's also, let's also get everyone on follow. And no, I didn't want to go invisible. Oh, okay, we have to be careful that, uh, that we don't get hit by those poison barbs because it will knock out the indom. Okay, all right, uh, what is it doing? Oh, is it landing? Yes, all right, everyone, 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 go. Oh, gosh, dang it, I forgot to keep it. It's old C to roar. Oh, but, oh, oh, wow. That, um, that is a lot of damage. All right, but it's also doing a decent amount of damage. All right, but here we go. Let's go ahead and Courage Roar. Oh, dude, just, just with one Courage, that's already over a thousand damage. Come on, let's get everyone fully Couraged. Come on. Any day now you want to do another Courage Roar. There we go. Oh, we're almost there with them getting fully Couraged. All right, unfortunately, this is kind of awkward. Oh, there goes a Death Worm. Did that Death Worm just avoid death? 
Interesting. It like went into the ground at the perfect time. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, 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 Manticore. Oh, Manticore. That is, that is unideal. Is it already at half? Okay, I, may, I might have over or underestimated the Gigas here, peeps. Wow, that uh, Death Worm instantly died. Yeah, I might have underestimated them because this is... <laughs> this is not... Oh, man. Okay, that guy... that I, like, walked into that to get fully hit by that. All right, come on. We need to courage roll this one last Giga. Oh, oh no. The Manticore is strategic. Placing myself in between it and my army. Ooh. That's actually a really cool spot for that Death Worm to die in. Oh, it's following me. Okay, we gotta we gotta make sure we avoid the barbs. Don't you barb me? Okay, okay, come on, land, land, Manticore, land. I'm stuck. Yes. Okay, come on. Oh no. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Everyone, turn. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, dude, it keeps flying immediately. Like it lands and then flies away. Oh, what the heck? I just got I just got launched by a by a death worm. I haven't seen any rock golems yet, but I, I guess they know right that there's gigas. Oh. All right, well, I mean, I might as well help. Wow, dude, I am only doing 200 damage. Nawaddle is not weak, but that goes to show just how OP these Gigas are. Look at that! Almost 9,000 damage to a Death Worm. Yeah, these are pretty strong Gigas. All right, I don't know what I was worried about, peeps, because these guys are a little insane. Oh, that's that's not what you want to do, Manticore. We might win right here. Hold on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, you coward. You cow- Well, I guess- I mean, is it- is it cowardly? Oh, I just got hit with a rock. Hey! A rock golem. There they are. They're spawning in. Nawaddle here actually also does full damage to rock golems, so we don't really have to be worried about them. Uh, even if we did only bring us. Oh, I forgot we could see the ice caps from the Manticore Arena on this map. Come on, Manticore. You know you wanna. You know- No! Oh! Look at him. I, oh, he's like focusing me. Ah, get away from me! <laughs> what? Well, there he goes. There we go, there we go. Oh, come on, Manticore. Don't make me pull out my shotgun and finish it, finish the job myself. I'm worried that if I do that, he'll like get one lucky blast on me with the with his like torpor spikes and just immediately knock me out. And then I'll get death wormed. All right, come on, Manticore. You are prolonging the inevitable here. And any day you want to land now. Am I not courage roaring you? Oh yeah, I am. Oh, there we go. And come on, Gigas, run. Run! Why are you slow? Oh, he's probably he's probably full of rocks from the uh from the Yep, there it is. From what what am I trying to say? The rock golems. But there we go. Tech cloning chamber achieved. And uh yeah, I, I mean I guess the goal of this episode has been met. <laughs> that's why that's why I made it a goal to do both the dragon and Manticore. Either way, that was extremely impressive. Now Manticore doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of health. Anyway, oh I can't I can't skin the tech armor. Sad. But yeah, the Manticore doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of health anyway. So uh, impressive that was, but not too incredibly impressive here. Are you? Let me let me go ahead and empty your poor inventory. You are so slow. Ooh, ooh, actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You got a lot of good stuff. I'll take. Uh, I Actually, I guess I don't really need any of this. <laughs> I have all the resources I could ever want. All right, but here's the question. Will... Us teleporting out break my character. Let's go ahead and just shove everything in here just in case it does break us. And every now and then, I think it's because of the new Scorched uh, Ascension hasn't been programmed into these modded maps. So I think with this boss and probably also Rockwell, we're just going to be stuck in this black screen. So I'm going to give it a few minutes. And if not, then I'm going to have to Alt F for the game. And hope that none of my stuff got eaten by a black hole. And we are back. I need my water. I am dying of thirst. All right, and slurp that down. There we go. All righty, peeps. Uh, if you're wondering, yes, I did need to Alt F4 because I was I was trapped in the eternal void that is Ark's survival loading screen. So let's also go ahead and get this hat out of here. I didn't even bother to dye the hat if you peeps saw that just because it's never actually going to be worn. But yay! All of my consumable items didn't get deleted from New Waddle. That's the reason why I dumped everything in here, by the way. If you'll notice, my food is gone and my med brews are gone. So if I didn't do this, it would have wiped out all of my ammo, would have wiped out my tech canteen for some reason. So thankfully, I'm not going to have to remake all of that stuff. But uh, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead, grab everything. And, and there we go, peeps. That is the Manticore just done for the rest of this season. We, uh... 
We kind of steam steamrolled it. That was like gamma levels of difficulty, if I'm going to be honest. But I mean, I guess that's to be expected when we go in with a bunch of gigas that have literally over 100 base levels into melee and health. Like if we didn't steamroll that fight, something something probably would have been up. But uh, actually, hold on. How is everyone's health doing? Oh, wow. Yeah, everyone is is fine, basically. That Manticore hardly did any damage. Now, granted, all of these Gigas have like 70,000 health, so even a lot of damage wouldn't have been that much. But of course, it's the dragon that's going to present the biggest challenge towards us. And let's see, what did we need for that again? A whole heck of a lot, peeps. A bunch of artifacts, aloe brains. Wait, do I? Do I? I, I, I know my mech had aloe brains, right? Did you? How many aloe brains do you have? Or am I thinking of New Waddle? Oh, just one. Okay, well, I guess that means we only need to grab nine aloe brains. We definitely have enough. I think, yeah, I think we have all the artifacts. We have most of these tributes. I just might need more Tuso tentacles, and I might need Basilo Blubber, both of which are pretty easy to get. I'll just have to take our Rock Drake on a little swimming trip like I did when we fought the Beta Dragon. And honestly, we might have enough tentacles. Because I did fight multiple Tusos in that episode where we fought Beta Dragon. So, I don't know, peeps. We might be able to just instantly get into this. Well, I guess for you, peeps, it'll be instant. Because I won't waste your time with, you know, swimming in the water, fighting a Tuso, right? I want I want to start kind of making more to-the-point content. I feel like I ramble a lot. And that makes some of my videos accidentally be extremely long. And I know I, I want to respect your peeps' time, right? Not everyone has the time to watch an hour-long video every time I upload. So, I'm trying to get better with that. And, uh, and yeah, so if this episode is a little bit shorter than usual, man, I, uh, super overshot that. Yeah, if this episode's a little shorter than usual, that is why. All right, I will see you peeps again at the obelisk. Uh, oh, that is not Pluto. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you peeps when we're ready, basically. Well, actually, peeps, while I have you all here, let's go ahead and make the, the cloning chamber slash mutator. I guess not make the cloning chamber, but unlock the cloning chamber. Uh, which I guess we already did, so just unlock the mutator. What's the transmutator? Converts creatures between their variation. Ooh. I wonder if we could convert Aaron Yeager into a Scorched Titan. Dude. That'd be huge, because then we'd get his stats on Scorched Titanosaur. Wait a minute, hold on. I might be cooking with that, peeps. Because if we could do that, that'd be actually huge. Okay, select recipe. All right, trans... Not transmitter. The transmutator. There we go. Craft one, please. And there it is. Okay. I'm assuming this is powered... Oh, what? It's so tiny. I thought it'd be much larger. Um. Okay, can I just place this over here? It probably needs to be powered by a generator, so this might not work. Unless I can just power this with element by itself. Please, can I power you with element? Dang it. Okay. Oh, I'm being chased by a raptor. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Just smack, smack, smack. Oh, you're a 270? You think you're strong? You're not. All right. So, yeah, this definitely needs a tech generator. So, let me go ahead and move it over to the generator range. Well, it seems I have hit an impasse with the transmutator here, peeps. I, I just don't know what this wants for me. It's in range of multiple tech generators. I have element inside of it, and it is for some reason still unpowered. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how to get this to work. I don't think it really it could really help us anyway, because if we go to change mode here, we have normal, aberrant, tech, X, R, and, and then back to normal. So I don't think we could actually use this to make our Titanosaur Aaron Yeager here into a Scorched Titanosaur, which is pretty heartbreaking. Broking? Heartbreaking, if I can actually speak correctly. But uh, yeah, so, ooh, hello. Oh, you want to walk? Let's go ahead and walk the Titanosaur. That should hopefully fix your legs, maybe, if you actually start walking. There we go. Oh my God, dude, his legs are such tiny little sticks compared to his entire body right now but uh yes i also did go ahead and make the s plus mutator so we're gonna go ahead and use this real quick just to see how good the growth pulse is obviously i first oh there we go okay very nice thank you so much so i guess you can just sit here and let's go ahead and growth pulse this dude up all right, mutation pulse change mode swap gender assign gender allow breeding imprint freeze growth 
which is interesting. Why would you want this? I guess maybe if you need to go offline, because it says aged dinos will eat basically nothing. So I don't know. Maybe that's like if you need to log off on a server, you don't want the creature to starve. You could do that. But boost growth is what we want. So let's go ahead and start that up. That costs 10 element per pulse. So I'm definitely going to want to do that when we have multiple baby titanosaurs. But oh, yeah, you can you can physically see it getting larger how how is the percentage going wow that is still going to take such a long amount of time it should be automatically eating now though yes all right cool so this titanosaur should be fully grown and we can go ahead and use imprint pulses to fully imprint it as well though we don't really need to because this is going to be a breeder titanosaur we're not really going to be using this guy for anything so i don't need to imprint on it so there we go peeps we can now finally speed up the rate at which these titanosaurs grow Ooh, hello orbital supply drop but yes so that situation has been solved now we have ourselves a dragon to kill, and where am I going? I haven't even grabbed the stuff yet, so yeah, I still need to go kill Tussos and Basilos. So let's go ahead, grab Bismuth, and I will see you peeps, this time for real, at the obelisk. And here we are, time for definitely the more stressful fight today. Manticore, I, I, I was a little worried for Manticore just because... I was worried that it would knock out our Indominus, but I, I'm worried for Dragon because I think there's a solid chance that we might just straight up lose. The Manticore fight definitely helped my confidence, but you know, it's it's still Alpha Dragon, right? So things could go horribly, horribly wrong, but hopefully not. We still have New Waddle here and we have our full army and I, I believe I have everything. I have a whole bunch of medical brews, food. I've got my tech canteens to chow down on in case we need those or not i guess you don't chow down on a canteen to sip from in case we're overheating i've got a bunch of shotgun shells still so you know if everything goes wrong maybe i could shoot the dragon to death uh, oh but here we go and the dragon okay okay can i ride my waddle there we go okay uh, i'm very glad there's a shield here so i would walk off otherwise Okay, Alpha Dragon, not even a million health. I I feel like we could do this. Okay, Lee, maybe. All right, let's go ahead, start. Oh, oh crap, one of the Gigas is like way down. Do you see me yet? Oh, he does. Oh, he does, dang it. Um, yep, yep, that's what I wanted to worry about. I gotta like drop this Giga's weight. I don't know what's in his inventory. Yeah, 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 just uh, do that, Giga. I gotta move over here. Oh, dang it. Hold on. We gotta kill these pteranodons first. Okay, that's not coming towards me. What is in this Giga's inventory that's weighted down so much? Oh, boy. Oh, we gotta run from that because that will hurt me off of my creature. Oh, whoa. We're gonna supply drops up there. Okay. All right. There we go. Everyone, everyone get him. Everyone get him. Everyone get him. Okay. 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 Uh, are you good? No. Go over there. Go over there, Giga. Okay. Noato, please do not run. Okay. Do you drop all the rock golem inventory all right go 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 okay all right all right all right dragon's gonna be fighting for a while here come on let's go ahead and get the courage roars going come on come on everyone everyone's doing pretty solid damage oh, i'm on the i got the spyglass menu for some reason all right, come on come on everyone i don't know if any of the gigas are raged oh my gosh a lot of them are really hurt though i, I keep bringing this up by hitting alt s I'm t i have to hit alt c to do the courage roar all right, come on. All right, everyone is fully encouraged. I mean, let's just get in there with our, ourselves then, right? Do we do a little bit of damage at least? 676? All right, come on. The dragon's hurting yet, peeps. This is going to be... I mean, this is just a brutal fight of raw damage between our Gigas and the dragon. Oh, my God. Why am I so hurt? Do I not have my... Do we not have armor? Okay, that's scary. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, we've already lost again. Yeah, dude, I swear to God, this spyglass menu. I just I just need to put it away. I just need to put it away. All right, come on. Come on. I need to get away from the front of the dragon as well. Because uh, if he breathes fire, Nawaddle's dead. Why did we take so much damage there? Okay, come on. Come on. I, you know what I think I need to do? I need to help. I need to, I need to just actually help here. Okay. Oh, boy. Get on. 
No, there goes another. All right, Amethyst is down. Come on, everyone. Everyone get over here. Everyone get over here. Okay. Uh, did we lose Frieza? Oh, crap. Yep. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. He's enraged. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I, ca I can't use my tech suit here. Oh, please don't die in the lava. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Why are you... Okay. There it goes. Unraged. Oh, dragon. All right. Shoot the dragon. Shoot the dragon. I need to shoot the dragon. Oh, okay. Okay. I am okay. I am okay. I am okay. I am okay. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. I, I just, as long as we don't lose freeze up, this is a win. All right, they're raged. They're raged. Now they shouldn't hit each other anymore. I, okay, man, we're not doing a lot of damage with a shotgun, are we, peeps? Come on, guys. Come on. Okay, I need to get in third person so we reload faster. Come on. They're not courage roar anymore. Oh my gosh, this is, this is tough. We, I, I wonder if we'll do more damage with this. Let's see. Come on, draw it back. And 200. Absolutely not. Okay, come on. Reload, reload, reload. Come on, guys. Look how much the dragon's doing like almost 2,000 damage a shot. Come on. No, there goes Frieza. I think we have we have one giga left. Flox. Come on, Flox. Come on, Flox. Come on, Flox. Oh, there goes the fire breath. Oh, it missed. They missed the fire breath. Oh, my God. Wait. I thought it, I thought it wasn't hitting. No, Flox is down. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. No, we still have one more. Oh, my God. Oh my god, we still have one more giga. Come on, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Come on. He missed the fire breath again. Dude, this dragon is throwing. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Oh, please don't fall in the lava. Oh! Tanzanite survives, dude. Oh, everyone but Tanzanite survived. Holy heck. Oh, Tanzanite, you warrior. All right, did you pick up anyone's stuff? No, oh, okay, let's uh, let's go around, try to find Frieza's saddle. Yeah, that was rough, peeps. That's Flox's inventory. Let's go ahead and, and drop this. Come on, I have 30 seconds to find Frieza's saddle. It's, oh, it's probably, I bet you it's somewhere buried in the dragon, though. Gosh, dang. Well, we did it, dude. That was, <laughs> that was close. Man, he's super, I mean, I guess it was only a handful of gigas, right? But. Still. All right, hold on. Let's get the Tanzanite just in case. Uh, yeah, just in case this wipes my inventory. Let's go ahead. Give him all my things. Holy heck. I, I mean, Tanzanite, decent amount of health survived with as well. I don't think this should. Yeah, this shouldn't be an issue because there's no cutscene associated with this. So this should just be a load time and then we're, we're back on the map. I'm look at all that element we get for Alpha Dragon though. Holy moly! Oh, so sad to lose Frieza. But I mean, I, I mean, I guess that's not the end of the Gigas because we still need the Gigas to do all the rest of the boss fights. But that right there, yes. Okay, we're back. That's the hardest fight done. I don't think any other fight except maybe the Overseer will be as hard as as Alpha Dragon was. That was, that was literally the main thing I was worried about, and that's why I wanted to get it done in this episode. Holy moly, peeps. All right, Tanzanite, you absolute survivor. Why couldn't Frieza have survived? All right, but uh, I'm glad at least one did. I think uh, even if Tanzanite did die, I, the dragon was so low, we would have been able to kill him with the shotgun. We had so much ammo, and we could have danced the dragon around that rock pillar. So I, I we would have won, I, I think. Like, I'm 90% sure we would have won that still. But I'm really glad at least one Giga survived. And now that we have the S Plus Mutator, we will be able to grow more Gigas a lot faster. Holy heck. All right, peeps. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end, th I guess, shell on, <laughs> end this episode here. Sky Turtle. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, Tanzanite, you get some well-deserved rest. Let's go ahead, throw him out. And uh, yeah, peeps, let's go ahead, go in here, get this other Giga Egg that I was incubating. It's not even close to done <laughs> to it yet, to being done incubating. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, end this episode here. Next episode, peeps, we are going to fully mutate the Titanosaurs now that we have this beautiful machine here we can go ahead and raise you up quickly and unfortunately it looks like the effect has worn off that's probably because i did have to exit out of the game for a few hours and come back a little bit later because i had some things in real life to attend to but uh yeah so that kind of sucks so we're gonna have to just spend another 10 element to do that i'm not gonna do it now because i actually have to log off 
for the night. But anyway, peeps, yes, two of the bosses we need to take down have been defeated. What a night and day difference, though, right? Between Alpha Manticore and Alpha Dragon. Holy moly. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed Fs in the in the comment section for Frieza and all the other gigas that we lost today. But they will be born anew when we are ready to do other boss fights. I wonder if they hurt themselves while they were raged. And I, I, I we lost new waddle as well. Dang it. Alright, we've got we've got to do some replacements in these upcoming episodes. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Tanzanite, the only survivor.